Hey guys, Matt here with 1HP and today I'm going to be going over a quick warm up routine you can include before your gaming session to perform better and prevent injuries. And if you guys are a new viewer here, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notifications and look out for a lot of the new videos that I'm going to be posting in the next year. So how does a warm up help you guys perform better and prevent injuries? When I say warm up, I mean a specific and intentional physical warm up routine and I'm going to be leaving research articles in the description. But there's three major ways that warming up helps us perform better and prevent injuries. We're going to get to them. So the first thing I want to go over is that it helps us improve blood flow specific to the muscles that we're warming up. And it has been shown in research that muscles that are warmed up are a little more tolerant to pulling or tensile stresses and the tissue becomes a little more extensible, meaning you're able to stretch it a little more easily. And basically, if your muscles are more warm, it's easier for the muscle fibers not only to move, but handle repeated stresses. And they showed in research involving rabbit muscles, but also more recently in research identifying the use of hamstring lengthening exercises or eccentric exercises with the Nordic hamstring curls. That warming up provides a protective mechanism that requires a greater pull or force of pull to cause a micro tear within the muscle. And for us, that just means that when we are repeatedly flicking or causing this pulling stress over the time that we're playing, our muscles can tolerate that more if it's warm. So the second way that we improve our performance when we're doing a specific warm up is that our nervous system becomes primed. And what I mean by that is the pathway from our brain down to our spinal cord, down to our wrist and hand muscles, it becomes activated. And what I mean by that is that signals are sent to the muscles that we expect to use while gaming, whether it be our rotator cuff to allow us to flick with longer range movements or our wrist and finger muscles to allow us to press the mouse or the keyboard and that allows or results in the nerve becoming a little more sensitive to following signals being sent through them. So that improves the speed at which the signals are sent. So when we're properly warmed up physically, whether it be through the exercise that I'm going to demonstrate in this video or mechanical skills warm up, we feel more consistent in the performance of those mechanical skills and that's helped that helps us perform better. So lastly, a warm-up can elevate your body temperature, which can make oxygen more readily available both during and after your gaming session. And that's important because we need oxygen for endurance-based movements, which is what we're doing when we're playing four to five hours at a time, repeatedly using our wrists and forearm and hand muscles. We need endurance for that. And it's also important to have oxygen more readily available after because it helps us recover more quickly. So this warm up routine is meant to provide you a physical warm up and it should be added right before you perform any of your mechanical skills warm up routine. So if it's Fortnite, it might be hopping into Kovacs, hopping into free building. If it's CSGO, it might be aim bots. If it's League of Legends, it might be practice tool, whatever in your respective game, put this beforehand. We're going to first start with a basic shoulder warm up. And additionally, if you have a foam roller, it can help address a mid back stiffness from previous days of gaming. Start in the standing position. All you're going to be doing is elevating your arms in front of you all the way up overhead, focusing on reaching all the way up towards the ceiling. If you have a foam roller, you can perform the exercises shown, maintaining pressure as you're rolling up and down. Repeat for 12 times. The next exercise is another one to warm up the muscles, allowing us to position our shoulders. It's pretty straightforward. All you're going to be doing is rolling your shoulders back, going up, then back, then down, then forward, and repeating this for 12 repetitions, pausing briefly at the back position for each rep. Next, we're going to work on our rotator cuff muscles responsible for larger mouse movements. This can be done in standing. Bring your chest up, tilt your shoulder blades back, rotate your arms out as shown in a slow and controlled manner, repeat 12 times. If you have a TheraBand, it can provide more resistance to better activate the rotator cuff. The next step for us is to actually head over to our bathroom and physically warm up our hands before we perform some actual wrist and finger exercises. So head over to your bathroom, heat your hands up as shown. You can use a hand warmer if you have that, although I find running hot water allows more surface area over your hands to heat it up more quickly.
The next set of three exercises are to warm up our forearm muscles controlling our wrist and finger movement while we're gaming. For this first exercise, all you're going to be doing is drawing circles with your wrist as shown and repeat 10 times. The next exercise we call the open and close and just like the name suggests, we're just opening and closing our hands but when we're closing we bend our wrists down as shown and you're going to repeat 10 times. The final of the wrist extension exercise includes just bringing your wrist up towards the ceiling with your palm facing down as shown and you're going to repeat for 10 times. If you have a dumbbell or TheraBand to provide some resistance, go ahead and utilize that. The last step is to warm up our fingers for the fine motor control necessary with both keyboard and mouse use. Start with your palms up as shown. Close your palm one finger at a time as shown, then reopen your palm one finger at a time and repeat 10 times alternating beginning at each side. That's it guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This routine will probably end up in a long form blog post of mine that's gonna be going over um, the most important habits that we should consider adopting throughout our day. Um, remember, this routine should be utilized right before your mechanical skill warm-up routine. And think of it as priming your body before you prime your actual in-game mechanics. I um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share this with one person that you know it will help or the reddit community you're in or twitter or whatever the goal is to help our community be a little more healthy one habit at a time thanks again adios